Are you recording? Uh huh. That's the heater switch. Heater control switch. For um, and you're working on a Georgie boy. Georgie boy. Eighty six. Yeah, this is a found this switch out of a Dodge nineteen eighty Dodge van that was wrecked. The old one had a bad vacuum switch. This is a vacuum switch here. Operates off of vacuum lines, and the other one was leaking inside here. And they had taken everything off the back and had put hoses in the wrong place, and they closed off hoses. It takes seven these hoses here, and they only had one connected. And the, of course, it didn't work anything. The defroster was stuck in defrost, so without this vacuum switch, nothing will move when you switch it from heat to defrost to air conditioning vents. So I put this in, got it out of junkyard. For sixty dollars for the whole whole thing, it was a hundred and hundred and one dollars at AutoZone for the whole thing. This piece was fifty bucks alone at AutoZone. Yeah, and you can't. And just I still didn't get up. the connectors. I got connectors and fitting connectors that and I wouldn't you can't have. Just call them up and say I need a, mm -hmm. a, a heat control for an '86 Georgie boy. No, they don't. They don't go it, like that. It and doesn't it, come up that way. You, you have to ask for what? Well, I'm just saying that campers obviously get parts from different manufacturers on their dashboard. It's, this is a this came out of a Dodge, but it fit in here, and this is a Chevy uh, motor in it, which means the chassis came from a Chevrolet or a GM. But the parts in the dash don't necessarily have to be Chevrolet or anywhere else on here as far as the parts in the vehicle. It's a camper, and they must buy a bunch of them, whatever they can get their hands on, and make them. Does this Let's belong to you also? That came in the uh, camper, and it was in the back compartment under the, the wheel well. She was stuffed down there by a dirt dauber's nest. Was she being raised by dirt daubers? She was a dirt dauber baby. She was being uh, nestled in with a whole family of dirt daubers. She had a little wooden, a little mud shell around her, and her little head was peeking out. And I got her. 